Okay, here it is. Uh, my uh, dinosaur playset. Yeah, uh, it it came out look, fi finally came out looking pretty good. Although I had a lot more trouble with it than I thought I would from the as simple as the plans were. Basically, you know, you're cutting just cutting out three hollow pieces here, gluing those together, then putting a couple pieces on the outside. But I I ran into a couple of false starts and and actually ended up ruining one work piece because I, I, I dropped it off the bench and I broke the poor dinosaur at the neck. That was, <laughs> that was frustrating. That was a get up, that was a stand up walk away and uh, uh, come back again later time for me. But anyway, if I were going to uh, uh, make multiples of these, batch these out, I think I would do this. And th what this is was I took a piece of half inch plywood and I put the dinosaur pattern on the front of it or the big dinosaur pattern on the front of it. And then I uh, went ahead and you know, carved the outside and the inside out. And then you could use this as a template on a router table or with a uh, flush trim bit or something like that to go ahead and carve as many pieces as you need. So anyway, let's take a look at the dinosaur itself. And it's, uh, it's fully closed, but inside I have all the little pieces. And uh, these little fellas here, yeah, uh, it takes a, takes a little bit of 3, 3D Tetris skills to get them in there, but uh, you know, 3D Tetris, that's the best kind of Tetris, right? So, uh, anyway, I've got, uh, uh, you know, I got everything, got everything finished up. What I did for the finish, speaking of which, what I did for the finish on this was a coat of shellac on the big dinosaur and then multiple coats of spray lacquer on this, and that's going to give a hard wearing finish, but on the little dinosaurs, because these could easily end up in somebody's mouth. I only use spray shellac. Shellac is a food safe finish. It's, it's also a fairly hard, harder finish, but it is food safe. You could certainly go with, again, with mineral oil and beeswax if you wanted to, or, uh, uh, or some kind of salable oil or something like that. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much about it. So if you, but if you stay tuned after the the outro here, I'll have the have the patterns actually on my screen. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this build. <laughs> and I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my next one. I've got ideas, but we're gonna, let's see if they come to fruition. So uh, with that, I will talk to you later. Bye. Yes. Yes. We have come to this land. It, it is a fertile land, and we shall rule over this land, and we shall call it this land. I think that we should call it your grave. Ah, ha, ha. ah curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. Ah, die, die. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah.